is a there is a globalist elite and they are led by uh, this organization out of the world economic forum and we've played this for the better part of a year as to what these characters are up to and so this idea to intentionally destroy something to bring it back and recreate it in their in their likeness in the way they want to do it so this business about about uh, the, the our i mean at the attack on our energy on our food on our financial on our election on our education systems in our country is very real the speed i think is what's boggling everybody's minds right it's really what's what's really stunning to most americans is that it just feels like their their speed is actually picked up and there and there is a reason for that the reason is because they had a blip on the screen over the last 4 years by the name of Donald J Trump who got in the way of a of a larger a much larger plan of 8 years of Obama 8 years of Hillary Clinton maybe get somebody else in but in those 16 years that would have been the uh, the complete uh re re uh, orientation of the experiment in democracy of the United States of America to a socialist country uh, where where the all the levers of power were totally controlled by a a globalist elite i mean I, today the the world health organization uh you know a character was on there Tez, uh, tedros Tez, tedros yeah, Demogu- where is he at yeah yeah Demogu- 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 tedros right <laughs> so he was on today talking about you know this whole you know this this next potential uh, pandemic that we might be seeing here this summer i mean these people are so obvious and it's so clear the challenge for most americans is that they just are not getting the information that they need because mm. you know a, a big part of this information a big part of this build back better is is the control of the media and the media is putting out what they want so you got to go discover these things in shows like this and and other uh, reawaken america tour and and other places where we have these independent voices out there and people who are try- X-22 is another great example. I mean, these these organizations, these independent voices who are trying to tell the American people, hey, folks, wake up, get involved in your uh, in your country like you've never been involved before. Otherwise, we're going to lose this whole thing. These guys are not going to slow down. They are not going to suddenly mm-hmm. wake up tomorrow morning and go, hey, everybody, you know, we've been we made a big mistake here. Uh, we're sorry. We're going to open up the energy markets. We're going to stop teaching CRT. You know, we're going to uh, fix our elections. No, they're going to continue to drive on with this agenda and they're going to shove it down our throats. And uh, and <laughs> like Paul Schwab says, and we'll be happy.